John is with us in Texas. Hi, John. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave. Hi, Chris. Thank you for taking my call. I'm having trouble hearing you, John. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. That's a little better. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, thank you for taking my call. Sure. How can we help? Um, so I am new to your uh, your show, and um, a little bit about me. Um, I'm 28 years old. My wife is two. We have a nine-month-old. I am a student working on my doctorate degree, and I have a nine-month-old daughter. Um, so I have about 300000 in student loans, 40000 in personal loans, 26000 in credit card debt. You're working on what kind of a degree? A doctorate degree. In what? Uh, organizational leadership um, with a focus in healthcare administration. With a plan to do what? Um, within five to ten years, hopefully be in an executive leadership position, vice president, COO, or CEO. Why do you need a PhD facility. to do that? Uh, it's it's a little bit more leaning into the healthcare administration side so I can get a better aspect of, of that realm. Okay. Um, I have about 17000 remaining on my SUV, and my wife and I together have about 116000 remaining on our mortgage. Right now, we bring home a total of about 57000 together um, after taxes. And um, so last year, my parents um, advised me to go file for Chapter 7 bankruptcy. So I went to an attorney. Um, I've been retained with her since August of last year. However, um, she's requested that we kind of suspend or we kind of push back the bankruptcy until later of this year, like uh, December or early of next year, because she wants to see how the elections turn out and see if maybe with the new party coming in, if she can bankrupt or file Chapter 7 of my student loans. I'm skeptical about that, um, but it's the only advice I've been given up to this point. Um, so I guess my question to you guys are... Okay, so what are you filing bankruptcy on? Your student loans aren't bankruptable. Your mortgage isn't bankruptable right. if you keep the house. Right. What are you filing bankruptcy on? Uh, a car? The uh, the no the forty thousand in a personal loan and twenty six thousand in credit card debt. Man. So my question was: Should I continue on this path to do this? Um, should I do it sooner, or should I even file Chapter Seven and, and follow through with a different set of resources or steps to getting? When do you graduate? Um, in about two and a half years. And you're not, you're, you're not working, but your wife is? We, we both are working. I work full time as well, as well as being a full time student. Oh, I see. Okay. But your household income is 57,000. Yes. I bring home about 38 after taxes and she brings home 19 after taxes. And your, your undergrad is in, and your, your undergrad's in what? Uh, my undergraduate is in chemistry. Huh. Okay. Um, chemistry and then respiratory, respiratory so, care. So I'm a respiratory. How therapist. are you paying for this PhD for the next two and a half years? Um, so unfortunately, I did take out a student loan on top of what I already owe. So at the but end, I mean, of if it, you if you file bankruptcy, you're not doing that. How are you paying for the bank? How are you paying for your PhD? I I haven't filed yet. I know. I got that. Oh. But if you file bankruptcy, um, you're not getting a student loan. Oh, I was not aware of that. Yeah, I mean, I'm, so. All right, uh, I'm I'm trying to figure out where to start. Yeah, uh, John, um, you you right now, my friend, do you feel the weight of this right now? I, I do. Do you really? Because yes, you said you just recently found us. And so what you're hearing is the wheels turning as we're processing because you've been sold a fake dream if you think bankruptcy is going to fix it, okay? Because um, it costs money, and you've already had this attorney mm -hmm. on retainer, and they're telling mm -hmm. you we're going to wait for the election to find out if, listen yeah. to me, student loans are not bankruptable, okay? Those aren't going mm -hmm. anywhere. Uh, yes, sir. And so I... I, I I want you to start to look at this and feel it and not look for the quick fix, but look for the fix. Yeah. Yes, sir. I, I, here's the problem. Um, That's certainly why why I'm trying to 
yeah. find other resources because that made me so skeptical when she said that. Yeah, I yeah. Agree. she was trying to push. She was trying to push this back, and and so that's why I wanted to find other resources out there, and I yeah. found you guys. That's more of a. Um, yeah, I, I appreciate this. So, I I've got to figure out a way to get you guys to get your income moving sooner than two and a half years from now. And that's what's that's what my hold up here is because I'm not trying to. I, the thing is, the debt is always not the problem. It's always the symptom of what's going on. And when, including when I lost everything, and went bankrupt 30 years ago. So I know how scared you guys are, and this is a huge pileup on you guys. Um, and so you have bet the, you bet the farm on this PhD turning into serious income. Uh, I did. Yes. Yeah. I mean, with $300,000 plus continuing to pile it up. So I'm probably going to start talking to healthcare companies now about working there and letting them finish, pay to help you finish the as their uh, continuing ed program, pay to help you finish your PhD. And you go ahead and get your career track started now mm-hmm. instead of a $38,000 job. You've got a chemistry degree. You've got the intellect to step into this. You've got a lot of the training to step into this and let's accelerate the phd completion and let someone else pay for that get that off of you and then get your income up to begin to address the 300 while you're doing that you can address the other stuff you can file seven if you want to and clean it up clean up some of that stuff uh but but you've got to you, in good conscience you can't continue borrowing if you're not going to pay other people you owe mm-hmm. from a moral standpoint and you've got to stop and address that as well in this. So I can't I can't recommend you uh, that you not pay someone in bankruptcy, and that while you're on the other hand borrowing money on the other uh, out of the other side of your mouth. Right. And so um, that that's just inconsistent from an integrity standpoint for me. So um, I got to put a stop to the bleeding, meaning we got to have a way to complete this PhD without any more debt. Um, and that, that keeps us a, from having any more debt. And then B, it gives us the leeway to say, okay, can we fight through these other types of debt or are they, do they need to go into bankruptcy? You guys are just under an amazing amount of stress. And I tell you what, Dave, what I'd like to do, Kelly, get his information. I want him get get him connected with one of our financial coaches. Yeah, he need, um, you guys are going to have somebody walk that, with to you. Sit down and unpack this. And we'll just we'll pay for it. Yeah, and, we'll and for it. the first session. Instead of, instead of you filing bankruptcy, let's yeah, have him sit down with absolutely. one of the coaches. That's a good idea. Absolutely. Uh, because we got to find out, Dave, with this doctorate program, this could be the kind that you got to go to school for three years and then spend two years writing your doctoral dissertation. Well, he said he'd have it completed in two Oh, uh, well. But the, the, the thing is, you're so far into this, I can't pull you back. Mm. But um, the bet that you've made is untenable. Uh, a $300,000 bet on the Ph.D. causing you to have a, a degree in executive health care, that was an untenable bet. Mm-hmm. Um, is it a reasonable thing to get a Ph.D.? Sure, sure. You've done it in an un, such an unreasonable way, it's yeah. put you under the, all this stress. I'm so sorry. I know you're scared. So what we can do is walk with you, and we'll just pay for it. Don't file bankruptcy. Um, let's see if we can help you get this turned. Yeah. But you're going to have to you're going to have to attack this from multiple fronts, not merely getting rid of the credit card debt and the personal loan. Just getting rid of that. You still got all the other mess. So, yeah, and it's still getting worse if you don't make that better. And that's just that's what's scaring me here for you, brother. You hang on, Kelly. I'll pick up, and we'll pay for your counseling. We'll help you get some help. We'll get you some help.